Hi everypony, I'm FlutterGuy317 and I thought I would do a quick follow-up to my Inkscape 0.49 Shaded Applejack Vector tutorial. Uh, I got a lot of awesome feedback on my tutorial and I wanted to just thank everyone who watched it and who left comments and stuff like that and I hope that the tutorial was helpful and informative and I kind of hope that you know it inspires some of you to go out and try a shaded vector or to try some of the cool new things in Inkscape 0.49. So I did receive some feedback, some tips and stuff. Uh, I got some feedback from Yanoda, who I mentioned uh, did a shading vector in Inkscape. He actually did an illustrator shading tutorial, so I made a little bit of a mistake in <laughs> there, uh, so sorry about that. Uh, and I also got some feedback on my shading technique from a fellow vector artist named Tajarnia who you can see here on DeviantArt, who creates some amazing shaded vectors using kind of a similar technique to what I showed in my tutorial. Uh, but they basically suggested a way to kind of make creating the clip a little bit quicker instead of basically going through and deleting all the interior nodes, they suggested to use path operations. So if you go under path, you see these union, difference, intersection, all these. These will basically modify, uh, it's usually two paths. Um, so like a union will combine two paths together so that you, uh, it'll basically become the entire shape which contains both paths. Intersection will just contain the overlapping section of the paths and stuff like that. Uh, I would highly recommend you know going through and trying some of these out because they all do different things and maybe I'll put together a tutorial. One of my tutorials might cover these a little bit more in depth but I kind of wanted to demonstrate that and also after he left that feedback uh, it kind of got me thinking into another way which actually speeds up uh, shading a little bit further and it also well, you'll see. Uh, let me first show you Tejarnia's method, and then I'll, I'll show you the method that I came up with from there. So this is the Applejack vector that I was working on for the tutorial. So basically, I'm going to work just on her front right leg. So I'm going to delete the shading there. Or actually, I'm not going to delete. Ugh. I'm going to revert this. I'm going to unclip the shading. So release the clip, and I'm going to delete the clip because we're going to basically be creating the clip again. And I'm also going to turn this blur off so that my processor doesn't go crazy. So what they suggested is basically to copy or duplicate the power stroke. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the power stroke. And I'll give that a different color so you guys can see it a little bit easier. And then I'm going to duplicate again. And then I'm going to convert it to a path. So Control Shift C for a power stroke. And there you can see all of our lovely anchor points, which there's a ton of them. And then if you select both the power stroke and the fill, then you go path union. You get basically one clip clipping path. So I can move that up. I can select both that and the shading and set clip and there, done. So you don't have to go through and delete all the interior nodes. Uh, this method is amazing. It saves you so much time. But again, if you change your path in any way, then you have to go back and redo it. So I was thinking that uh, basically Inkscape kind of internally thinks of these power strokes as paths. So I thought maybe I could clip to within a power stroke and then uh, kind of going further on that, I could clip to a group of objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my power stroke and clone it, but I'm going to use the normal clone. So clone, create clone, or you can use Alt D. And that's going to basically create a copy of that that you can't really change anything with it. You can't modify the color, you can't do anything, but it's good for creating a clip. So I'm going to use that, and I'll move that up a layer. And then I'm going to select my interior 
path, which is our cloned original path. And I'm going to do the same thing. So clone that and move that up a layer or two layers. And then I'm basically going to select both of those cloned objects and I'm going to create a group. So object group or control G and then select both of these and set clip. And voila, it's so simple. Uh, now, basically, if you go ahead and you change your stroke, everything changes. So you can essentially create uh, a pony, like a pony puppet, basically. The one drawback is that this doesn't work on your normal strokes. I've already tried it and it will clip to the center of the stroke because that's that's really what Inkscape is thinking of. So to kind of get around this, you have to apply a power stroke to every single stroke that you want to shade. But it's actually not that bad because you only have to toggle one point. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate that on here. So instead of having my three points, I'm just going to delete these again with alt Control click and then I'm gonna bring my stroke to a good width and I'm just eyeballing that now but if you want it to be accurate you can duplicate it and set it to a specific width and you know uh, you can see my tutorial if you wanna to go through that a little bit more and then here uh, I'm gonna add my shading again body shading and set that to there uh, and then it's you know it's really simple you select the power stroke alt d move it up select the inner alt d move it up and up again and then select these two group it and clip it and bam and then you can apply your, blur your blurring and everything so this works amazingly and it's so quick the only issue is like if for instance here underneath her mane uh you would have to basically create her whole head instead of just this small stroke because it has to be encompassing the whole thing but this also means that you can group many many objects and create a clip from that so uh like with this under the muzzle um shading you can basically group a duplicate of this stroke and this stroke and her head fill and everything like that so that's pretty awesome um yeah so i think that's pretty much it i do look forward to making some more tutorials i'm thinking about doing stuff from very basics of vectoring all the way up to some more artsy uh parts of shading and stuff like that so stay tuned and thank you again for watching bye